Hello everybody, this is King Gabe coming at you with another toy review once again. This time we're looking at the War on Cybertron Kingdom Rhinox, also similar to his Beast Mode counterpart. Very similar indeed. I uh, think maybe like a slightly different shade, but, um, but you know, still close. Uh, so pretty good little rhino mode here. Um, as he is a rhinoceros there, thus the name Rhinox. As he said when he first emerged in episode one, hey, settle down. Living large is for forms like me, Rhinox. Mm. Yep, bigger than life there. So let's get a look at the little details on them. Uh, this one actually, um, there's not, uh, from this point here, you don't really see a whole lot of kibble except for some green marks there. Um, some of them, uh, some of them, uh, yeah, I kind of can understand. Yeah, and of course you have kibble on the underside too, obviously. So, yeah, that's, yeah, pretty much all of them are gonna, mo most all of them are gonna be like that. You might get possibly a few that will cover that will try to cover it up a little bit, but yeah, you're still gonna see some. <laughs> uh, being, you know, beasts, in their animal transformers anyway. Uh, especially here on the arms, got a little bit of green there, uh, part of his robot mode arms there, so. Um, now this green right here, they could have, they could have painted that to, say, to match the color of the rest of his body and would have had that hidden. Uh, especially, you know, looking at it from here, that would have, uh, kind of helped a little bit up there, but, but I guess they probably didn't think about that. That's, that's pretty much, um, I think that's the only thing that I think could have been avoided there, but, oh well. Hm. You know, sometimes we don't think of everything. Hm. It's all cool. Hm. Yeah, so, as you can see, uh, certain movements of him, uh, he can... And you see a little bit of his robot, the back of his robot head under there. Uh, he can move his mouth. Have to kind of take it, uh, one of your fingers or thumb. Kind of press that. Yeah, see, uh, that'll make the mouth open a little bit. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, Rhinox Maximine! Oh. Well, we don't want to do that just yet. Um, let's take a look at some of the other things he can. Uh, he can kind of move his arm out, but the only thing is you'll expose a lot more kibble, so you might want to keep that down. <laughs> put your arm down. I said put your arm down. <laughs> but, boy. <laughs> boy. <laughs> Had a little moment there. I sort of got, sort of got that from my mom there. It's like, boy, play it with you. <laughs> yeah. Say, mom, mom and I, mom used to kind of be, say, when mom have her sarcastic moments there. <laughs> so, uh, you can move his, um, as with the, so you kind of can move this. It, it exposes a little bit more in, uh, with the joint being green. Uh, but that is something you can do, much like moving it up. Uh, that's pretty much all you can get, uh, while it's in this beast mode, though. Um, uh, you can move these part of his legs kind of a little bit there. <clears throat> yeah, sort of like with the other one. Pretty much it there. Uh, and then, you know, you got the back, the back end there. And make, sometimes it kind of comes open a little, just a little bit there. Kind of keep it closed when in beast mode. Uh, sort of makes me think of a shell former, but, um, uh, but a little, a little compared to a shell former, it's a little more complex. It's not, it's not too complex, um, especially with transformation. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, gotta be kind of careful with them and know what you're doing. Um, I pretty like, um, like Black Arachnia that I showed in the previous video. I transformed. I think I think I I want to say I transformed him without using the instructions there. Uh, so like I said, I did the same with Black Arachnia. Um, well, mostly I did sort of look. Yeah, I did this one. I kind of did have to really look 
at the instructions to really get um because the thing is they come when they come in the uh packaged up and everything you know when you get them um they be in robot mode so you have to change them to beast mode and then back to robot mode again used to be back in the day you get these type of transformers they would be in beast mode and then the instructions would tell you how to change them to robot mode then you know back and forth I don't know why they changed that up there. I I like I like it when they're in beast mode first, uh, and then like when I do the very first first time I transform them, I'd rather go from beast to robot. Like um, you know, in the show when they were first introduced, um, you know, and everybody transformed, sort of a group shot. Predacons terrorize, do it, maximize. Rhinox Maximize! So, but other than that, yeah. Other than that, I uh, think that's pretty much it to pretty much show for that. Uh, you can see his weapon also in there, kind of crunched up in there at the bottom there. Uh, it's supposed to be some way that it connects in there. Uh, but because it was so hard, it was... I had a really difficult time getting every time I go back to beast mode. I did not bother with that part. Um, I just sort of squinched it in there. And it still, it, it stays in there either way it go. Yeah, It doesn't fall out or anything. It can't really, it, it can't really fall out. Uh, so either way, it, the weapon's going to stay up there. So it's not, yeah. You have to reach in there to get it out before transformation though. Which is exactly what we're going to do. It's, uh, let's get the maximizing. Or if Megatron zaps him with some ray or something, he'll be made into a Predacon. Oh, boy. Let's see. So uh, let's get his weapon out of the way if I can reach in there. Oh, boy. That's kind of awkward. Uh, and let's see. I think I can get it out of there. Okay, well let's okay let's just op let's open up let's get him opened up so he can transform and it'll probably just slip it'll probably just slide out. So first off, you wanna let's see take uh, open them up there as I stated, and that's sort of okay. This is sort of uh yeah there we go yeah open up his back and then you wanna do the same to the other side. And his legs sort of have a tendency to fold on their own, but just, you know, keep them. Let's see, I think you probably want to, I guess you probably be best to get the weapon from this end, I think. There we go. Okay, so we'll set that off to the side. We'll see, you'll, you'll see what it does once he's transformed. So <laughs> now he's kind of opened up, kind of makes me think of an Ultra Zord from Power Rangers when they open up <laughs> before the other Zords come into place. Okay, so now let's uh, get his art. Let's get his robot mode hands out here. Get that out the way. Matter of fact, let me take this and uh, put it back here so it doesn't fall off the tape. Okay. So you wanna? I think I forgot how this. Oh wait, wait, wait. Here we go. Here we go. Okay. I keep thinking. I keep thinking that you pull it. But no, you just have to move it to the side. Okay. I had a Rhinox figure once before, different from this one. And on that one, you had to pull pull it to get the fist out there. So I'm so used to I'm kind of, I'm still kind of used to that other Rhinox figure I once had. Do the same with the other. And oh boy, come on. You're gonna make me feel like I'm doing an operating table. I don't want to be like the Dark Knight Returns, Frank Miller style. <laughs> this is an operating table. So, okay, now raise the arms up. Uh, guess you could uh, take this here. Okay, well, let's get, let's see if I can try to get this down here. Uh, now, this is kind of the tricky part in whether it's from Beast to Robot or other way around. This assembling this 
a rare part to make his robot legs. Oh boy. <clears throat> yeah, because I've only done it a few times since I got him. Yeah, let's see. Okay. Okay, you got kind of tricky. You gotta get them detached here. Oh, okay, take these little pieces right here. And you're gonna raise them up out of the way. That, I think that should help a little bit there. Just keep in mind. Okay, there we go. Keep in mind, this is the reason why toys are made the way they are for the different um, genders, you know, boys and girls. Uh, it's not it's not to be sexist or anything like that, but it, majority speaking, most guys, most of us guys, are tend tend to be kind of rough with things. So the toys have to be made as such. Yeah, not saying you don't have any rough girls. Don't get me wrong, but yeah, it's yeah from the from the business perspective of the people making the toys, that's the way they're gonna see it there. So. Yeah, so, okay, bring that out there. Okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I think. <laughs> oh, Walter Wing says he doesn't know. <laughs> okay, so now, let's see, you're gonna... Okay, that's right, you're gonna take this, gonna move... Uh, now you can kind of turn this like so. It's in order to fold in the beast mode leg. And... Let's see, kinda, kinda gotta work, kinda gotta work with it there. Okay, okay, so uh, here's the trick. We had to, uh, just kinda had to work it a little bit, but uh, yeah, this this part did come down. Uh, oh boy, come on. There we go, now you can fold that in. I think, for some reason, I think this is a, Supposed to, I think there's something you're supposed there's some way you're supposed to fold that in. Uh I wanna say uh let's see something here. Maybe if you take the foot out. No, that's not gonna oh no 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 Oops. <laughs> yeah, that just happened. Alright, so I got I think I got that fit. Okay, I got them back on. You did. I am tearing it apart. You did. I am tearing you apart, Rhinox. <laughs> but then I had to put you together again. It's so frustrating if you know what I mean. Oh, dear me. <laughs> I have no idea what that was supposed to be. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. Maybe... Uh, no, that's, I don't think that's supposed to do it there. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I guess the only thing that just happens there is just you fold the tail up there. Okay. Okay, I guess that's it. Okay. Well, I, guess that's all, I guess that's all you do. Uh, once you bring the leg down, you just fold the the tail piece in, uh, the beast mode tail piece. So, okay, let's uh, repeat, rinse, lather, repeat with the other. Get that uh, get that beast mode leg in. There we go. Okay. And now to bring it on down. Gotta get the robot mode foot out first. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, come on. Bring his tail. 
Bring this uh, Beast Mode tail in. Same like I just did. And yeah, okay. Well, that's completely what I was expecting, but okay, there you go. Now we can get the main on uh, the main course. We're going to bring his uh, rhinoceros head to the back here. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, gotta fold these arms out. Yeah, that would, that would be kind of important. Yeah, there we go. Oh, yeah. And probably, yeah, fold that kind of like so. And now we can, uh, yeah, now we can bring the beast mode head to the back, kind of. And just sort of have it hang there. And then, of course, you can adjust, get the arms adjusted. And, of course, turn the head around. And now to get that show accurate, how you would look in the show when it's uh, right up when the bottom bottom mouth of his uh, beast mode would come down and become his robot mode chest. Well, here's a replica. Gonna fold that out. And there you go. And voila. You got Rhinox, baby. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, that's... There he is. Rhinox in all his glory. Not a bad figure. Like I say, um, you got to really know what you're doing. You got to really know what you're doing. Yes, that's true. Uh, when you're transforming him, be real. Um, I strongly advise you really look at those instructions because heaven knows I did. Heaven knows I had to look at them. <laughs> a lot of times I can transform these without the instructions. I've done this a lot with a lot of the old Transformers back in the day. Back in my day, I didn't need. Back in my day, Sonny, I didn't need no instructions on how to transform a transformer. I just did it. You know, we knew how to do that kind of thing. But now, you kids today, y'all have to look at this stuff. You gotta learn this stuff, you youngins now. With the, well, pay attention to me when I'm talking to you now. <laughs> so, <laughs> Anywho, um, oh, there you go. Turn his arms like that. Yeah. Yeah, you can turn his arm. Yeah, that way you can bend them. Yep, bend them. Elbow bent, elbow movement. Uh, and move his arms completely like that. Turn his head from side to side, which you know that from the transformation. Uh, even the back head agrees. <laughs> yep, and, uh, he can move his, let's see, he can move his legs. He sort of has a bit of a knee joint, bit of a knee joint. Uh, got a lot of armor on the bottom leg, but he get, but he gets a little knee movement. Uh, he can bend it like so. He can do the same with the other leg. And I guess he get, okay, he get a little side to side. Um, mostly this is kind of in the way of him being able to do that. But yeah, but he get a little bit. And as for, and let's see, uh, let's, let's see what else we got. Oh, yeah, his weapons, of course. <laughs> okay, so, uh, and then there's his robot feet there. So as for his weapon now, we'll take this apart, and that's what, and he has two of them. Uh, the sort of these little chain blasts he would have in the show, they were a little bit bigger, but, yeah... They're a little bit bigger in the show, but okay. Uh, not really a big deal there. Um, don't I don't think there's a masterpiece Rhinox. Not completely sure. But uh, yeah. The, uh, but there was a previous Rhinox figure, like I said, that I did have. Oh, uh, it actually had some bigger ones of these, but they were a different color. Um... But either way, you still get this effect. Uh, he was sort he would in the show he would sort of go, sort of go all ballistic, especially on Megatron, like oh. <laughs> yep, Rhinox was also um, 
he was known as the tech genius in the show. He knew a lot of, he uh, would invent a lot of stuff. And because of his massive size, he could also pack, he could also uh, give you some pretty good muscle uh, as well as uh, use some pretty heavy duty weapons. So he was, just imagine if you had a nerd that was built like a football player and you get Rhinox here. So sort of like a football player built nerd there. Yep, and also he would um, be some somewhat of a spiritualist at times there, um, like when he tried in season two, uh, when he did this whole meditation thing to get Optimus Primal spark back in this new body of theirs after Optimus Primal was destroyed at the end of season one, but he was able to get his spark back in a new body and pretty much resurrect them there. Um... Then of course there was a spiritual moment he had in season one when all the all the Maximals had gone blind. It's like, what have they done to my eyes? Uh, Rhinox, uh, help me! Uh, Rhinox, where are you, buddy? Listen to me. You all got to calm down. Calm down. We can't see. There's more than one way to see Dinobot. And besides, we don't have a choice. Our only option is to get back to the base. If we don't reach an R chamber in about 60 cycles, the contamination will put our sparks out for good. Yep, and he pretty much saved them from uh from well be well from the contamination uh putting their sparks out. Um he was able to actually give the uh the other maximals that were blind like him how to defend themselves even though they couldn't see by having them picture a targeting grid in their mind so he pretty much pretty much kind of makes you think of, pretty much in that episode it was almost like a beast wars daredevil so so yeah that was that um yep so um yeah that's pretty much uh much ado about good old Rhinox there. Oh, also, um, the silver on his on the map on this chest part here of his robot mode sort of makes me think of what happened to him when Megatron Beast Wars Megatron made him into a Predacon and he was all gold. Oh, uh, well, no, no, I take that back. When he became when the one episode when Rhinox became a Predacon, that gold actually turned to silver. Yeah, and it sort of had this sort of dark look to it and everything. A lot the rest of them was sort of darker toe. <laughs> and it was so the funny real funny scene when he had so he was sabotaging the Predacon base and Scorpidoc and Terrasaw come to corner him. He's like he looks over at Terrasaw and says, Oh, back on their side now? Gee, a guy can hardly keep track around here. What's he talking about? When I slagged him and Bug Eyes, he was a watching and smirking. <laughs> Don't listen to him. He's a smirker. And next, and he got Scorpion and Terrasaw to pretty much uh, beat each other up, and which gave him an opening shot at Megatron, <laughs> which he would have actually won that if he didn't stop the gloat, as Megatron pointed out. Sometimes Predacons gloat too much. Yep, so uh, other than that, really cool figure, really cool character. Yep, uh, definitely pick him up. Uh, if you're collecting the Kingdom line or just Beast Wars in general, you de yeah, definitely pick him up for your collection. Um, and uh, we'll, yeah, pick him up for your collection. Uh, you'll be glad you did. And when you're transforming him, just make sure you are careful and going different modes there, but it's definitely worth it. Um, and we... And uh, I guess, and if you have any other toys or anything like that you want to recommend that I uh, review or want to, uh, especially want to send me some, you know, or or like or request some, just uh, let me know in the comment section. Or uh, those of you who want to send me some toys to review, uh, PO box information is definitely in the description box. So forgot to mention that in my Black Arachnia video, but uh, well, I'm saying it now. So. So, uh, until the next toy review, we'll see you later.